Hey, Mr. Terry, high school history teacher. Welcome back to another meme video. All right, let's check them out and talk about it. As always, this compilation can be found in the video description and send memes over to the Discord server. Here we go. All right, first uh, scene here we got with my homies from the Senate. Apparently, they have a surprise for me. Oh, you think that's what went through uh, Caesar's head before the knives went into his back? With my homies from the Senate, apparently they have a surprise for us. When you tried to take a <laughs> selfie in a Vietnamese forest, 13 faces detected. <laughs> That's pretty good, because I've heard all the, I've heard so many of the, you know, the, the Vietnamese are hiding in the trees and all that That's stuff. So like, I like this, because they're finding all the stuff. You just, you don't fight the Vietnamese. China, France, United States, just, just stop doing it. Let's take a selfie in a Vietnamese forest. 13 faces detected. A Soviet soldier training his bank flop <laughs> tomahawk throw. Awesome. If someone finally raked Canada's flag. Time traveler. <laughs> What's going on? We're looking for water because the whole Nile turned to blood. Oh, the 10 plagues have started. The what? The British monarch celebrate. <laughs> what? It's the whole Nile turned to blood. Oh, the 10 plagues have started. The yes. What? The British. So there's going to be more of them. Like, oh gosh. British monarch celebrates two birthdays. One on their actual birthday, and okay. then officially in the summer when the weather is nice enough for a parade. See, uh, that's just what a coincidence. Because no one wants their birthday party in bad weather. When you are about to build a shopping mall, but you are in Rome. <laughs> I love hearing about this all the time when they just are doing construction somewhere. I mean, anywhere in the former Roman Empire. You'll see this stuff come up in Turkey, Syria, and then west all the way to Spain. They're just digging, doing some foundational work. Oh, here's some mosaic from some palace. It's like, it's like the Roman Empire was bigger and, I don't know, more built up than, like, we even think. I can't believe Caesar is really taking us to Britain. Who knows what kind of loot we'll find? Probably tons of gold and temples ready to be plundered. Nope. Do you guys even practice agriculture? Nope. Strange looking blokes, ain't they? Oh, uh, okay, so I feel bad for the native Britons, but I'm sorry. But they stay away from our pile of rocks. Apparently, death Still by there a long time. was a thing in medieval oh, times. Gosh. Turkey's underground city is nearly 3,000 years old, and it came to host 20,000 people. Is this... Okay, so this is different than Cappadocia. Um, that place is so cool inside caves. What's with Turkey and building underground cities? It's a Caesar salad. July 21st, sure. 1969 newspaper. We made it. We're on the moon. I don't want to live through any more <laughs> historical events. Kids in the future <laughs> trying to memorize 2020 events for their final history. Hey, my students ask me all the time, like, you know, living through COVID and being a student through COVID, is this stuff going to be on, you know, the final? And it's like, well, maybe not this year, but it will be eventually. Current mood. Babies by Van Gogh. Oh, is gross. nobody going to talk about this painting? I mean uh, we're going to talk about it right now because, okay, I don't know what the dude is going. Okay. There's a dude with like a beard and he's okay. So I think the dude up here has possessed the four guys and this woman below. Okay, they're, oh, I don't know where to start. I don't even know where to start here. I mean, those men are just casually riding their beards. Never mind them. I'm more concerned about the guy kidnapping a woman with his beard. The yeah. death of Achilles, colorized. The entire <laughs> language of Morse code. Some dude's wife dying. Trade offer. <laughs> I receive. Nothing. Haha, <laughs> don't worry about it. Okay. You receive. A big wooden horse. Don't Draw do war, war leaders. How will you enforce that? Hmm. Huh. Action hero. That is the biggest problem of the UN, right? The UN horse. Don't do war. is only as powerful as that has the means to enforce their laws and the agreements, uh, international agreements. So it's like they'll condemn you and say, bah. It's kind of what doomed the League of Nations too, right? It's like you got you can't enforce it, but everyone's supposed to, you know. So, so I mean, so that's why you're gonna have stuff like NATO or before that the Warsaw Pact, where it's like the UN didn't have any kind of like military power to it, so you create your own. But the UN was supposed uh, UN is supposed to correct well, all that. Well, so I don't know is. what how will you enforce? I don't know what to do. Hmm. Huh. Action heroes in the eighties. This is twenty twenty one. So it went from big bulky jocks to uh rich science nerds yeah you know there are still buff actors now what, what the fuck your friends convince no, your executioner to take the day off a shoemaker takes his place this actually happened to someone imagine Wait, telling a non-basketball info fan that this man was the biggest Larry trash legend talking he was to ever play in the nba he was one of my favorite things to look at is larry bird trash talk videos so you look at this guy. If you don't know much about basketball, look at this guy. Does this seem like a bad AM effer that was notorious for talking crap to the best athletes in the world? Go ahead and look at Larry Bird trash talking stories, and it'll completely change your perspective of him. Even if you did know about him, but you didn't know about his trash talking, you will be thoroughly impressed with the trash talking and the respect that he got. And just look at the guy.
Spain, we have successfully protected our land from the thieving British. Yeah, what actually kind happened? Of, hey, really. you're on the wrong beach. Oh, my bad. Exactly. Bro, we gotta check out Plymouth's <laughs> Rock. The pilgrims landed there, bro. It's a piece of history. It's gonna be so cool. Trust me, bro. Yeah, it's actually stupid. There is a, a number like chiseled in it, but I don't. Do we even know anything about it? Like when it was put there? Tourist traps. They're all over the world. Sir, they didn't include this meme as the scene in your movie. What? Oh, they really didn't though, did they? Like the end. For, Na for the Napoleon movie? It's gonna be so cool. Trust me, bro. So Him chilling on... Would this be Elba or St. Helena? Either way, I mean, he would just be sitting there depressed. They didn't include this meme as the scene in your movie. Modern history, <laughs> medieval history, ancient history. George yeah. was a good president for eight years. Then George said, I'm tired. I want to go home. It I like that. So you don't... Aren't you glad that George did that? Like, one of the things, honestly, that I hear from people, and I George think it's was important... George president for eight years. Then George said, I'm tired. I want this is before they had term limits on the president. You could just keep being president. You get voted and voted and voted. Say, like, FDR did. Wrote, um, uh, voted in four times. But it's like George kind of set the president precedent for the president that it's not just going to be this lifetime position. Even if you are popular enough to keep winning elections, it's like, no, time to move on. Want to go home, accepting that the opposing side that. has a stronger navy and strictly fighting battles on land, attempting to True. ally the second most Franklin, powerful navy my at favorite the time, president. and getting all those side things. First ever recorded <laughs> snowball fight, 1897. Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool, dude. Who do you think is going to win this? This lad in the, the high, you know, tall hat and coat? I don't know. I'd be decking this guy, though. It's really cool to be alive in the USA at this point in history, because it's like the collapse of the Roman Empire, but with Wi-Fi. <laughs> well, I was going to the say, this point there's so many, you, you see these like fall of the Roman Empire things, but the fall of Roman Empire never looked like this, a chaotic apocalyptic scene. It, it was decades, even centuries for its fall with multiple sacks and stuff, but nothing ever looked like this. History, because it's like the collapse of the Roman cooler, Empire, though. but with Wi-Fi, the mysterious chicken church heard of is located in the middle of the Indonesian jungle. The abandoned building itself is quite bizarre, but even more bizarre is the fact that there are 12 underground chambers. The world is filled with such wonderful things. I think I've seen that before. I've Wild seen that. Wolves from four and it's not um old underground it's not old or anything if you're wondering if it was like some ancient thing no and i think i've seen a video of just the dude from there now chickens originate in southeast asia by the way chambers the world is filled with such wonderful wild wolves from forty thousand years yeah ago. now dogs. dogs being dressed up like tacos <laughs> we had to kill the vikings because they bathed and brushed their hair and our wives couldn't resist such sophistication is a hell of a take by medieval english chron chroniclers you know, some of the earliest stuff, Such though, sophistication is a hell of a take by medieval English chron chroniclers. OK, so some of the earliest things that we have from um, from er, er, writings that we have about the Vikings is the opposite, though. I forgot the uh, the the Muslim traveler who was the first to, like, have a foreign chronicle of Vikings because he he traveled up there to northern Europe to hopefully establish trade networks. And he said how, like, disgusting they were, though, he said they're really attractive, but they're really gross. A display of medieval weaponry includes the shield, the battle axe, and the finger of, oh no, you didn't. Oh, <laughs> did you see that? That was pretty good. There's this the guy right here. He's like, uh, uh, I don't know. This person's doing kind of something with, I mean, th this is like mittens. And I don't know, none of them look very intimidating to me. I just learned that Scotland names the entire snowplow fleet, and the names are incredible. Like I think my favorites are Ready Spready Go and S Ice Destroyer. Gangster like Granny Love Gritter. It. Babe, Love please, it. would you turn on Google Maps? No, instincts will guide me. Getting lost oh, in gosh. the first century. Babe, please, would you ask for directions, please? No, all roads lead to Rome. So it was easier to travel back in Rome than it was before in the time period before between Rome and when we had Google John Maps. M. Browning in 1912, making a heavy machine gun that's used by the U.S. Army for the next 100 yep. years because no one came up with something better. Greatest troll <laughs> in lockdown history. Elon Musk should buy the history. <laughs> come up with something Who'd made better. this? Greatest <laughs> Who made this? Dude's just fishing, all right? Troll in lockdown history. <laughs> Elon Musk should buy the History Channel and make it about history. Humans he for 100,000 years just focus on hunting and gathering, living in small tribes communities humans after noticing that plants grow from where the seeds are thrown exactly it's amazing that it took that long to get domestication of animal or of plants and then animals followed soon there but 
you know, whatever. What? No Jurassic Parker? T Rex gets a Christmas <laughs> jumper at Natural History Museum in Jurassic London, Park. Mount Shasta, with zero snow. The first time in modern history. I would call that handwriting on the wall. On this date in Philly's history, 1883, the first mascot Phillies? is introduced the Dancing Dutchman and his red ch Wait, like Philly's like baseball? Chancy. I'm at the Natural History Museum and I'm obsessed with this thing. How Oh my gosh, you see that thing? You imagine you're just like dipping your toes in the water and then this thing comes up? How often do you think about the Roman Empire? Once every week, I guess. More like every night. It's overblown the whole like how often do men think about the Roman Empire. The thing is though, I have people and I see them on my Discord and stuff like that. Their whole personality is the Roman Empire. Their name, they only talk in the Roman Empire channels uh, like online. It's it's literally like that. History documentary starter pack with the latest technology. In Intense music, low budget reenactments, must use the word uncover, oh, scanning yeah. random stuff, True. ancient Romans, look what I made, it's a cinema. Hey, you know what though? Like, I'll take more of those history documentaries. Like, let's let's get some more no more, it's obvious, we don't even have- We don't even have these anymore. Random stuff. I'm okay, in I'm okay, I'm okay with all of the- music. Low budget Like, stereotypes. I loved these. I grew up on this stuff. It was fun. Must use the word uncover. Scanning random stuff. Ancient Romans. Look what I made. It's a uh, say no more. It's obvious. We don't even have to write it down. Archaeologists <laughs> today. What? Exactly. So many weird inventions the Romans have. We look at it. We're like, what is this thing? It's like, it's either really stupid or it could be something groundbreaking. What did they use it for? In 1766, English sailors on the Frigate HMS Dolphin learned that native women on islands would trade the deed for iron, so they began pulling nails out of the ship so extensively that it threatened the ship's physical integrity. <laughs> Reading through world history, trying to find an example of the good old days. Isn't it weird? Yeah, we no such thing. Stop saying that. Stop saying that. There was never such thing as the good old days, okay? It's made up by people. Longer than boys. Yeah, it's really weird. What strategy are you going to use to defeat Hannibal? Borrow. Strategy? I have 77,000 Roman soldiers in the Jupiter's <laughs> yeah. favor. We went to the Oracle and the Oracle said we're going to win. The Oracle even said we didn't have to show up with weapons. We just show up and they'd be smitten by the gods. On my side. I don't need a strategy. Teacher, illustrate <laughs> a moment in history. Me. Whoever is humming the Jules <laughs> theme is going to get slapped. The first drug deal recorded in history. History. When you bake heck? a fantastic cake but have nowhere to post it because the internet doesn't exist. Exactly. Yet. My history teacher, me. My okay, there's my more knowledge to it. about the so my knowledge about the Soviet Union and World War II. I was gonna say I wanna this kid. Uh, they're never in my class. Why isn't this kid ever in my classes? Soviet Union. Not to that World level. Levels of pain. Slap. Childbirth. Kicked in the nuts. Oh, Sailing thirty-three thousand kilometers just to lose. Not a cell phone oh. inside. Just people living in the moment. That's the king. You guys know this. Who this is from? This is Louis the Sixteenth on a cell phone inside. People just living in the moment. You know the the uh, reign of terror was nuts. They conducted like hundreds of these a day when in about a, a, a year time span. And I wonder if people just like like that's just what you did on your lunch break. You went to that day's guillotine beheadings, and that's just it was part. Yeah, you, know, you 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 bring your sack lunch down to the public square and then watch them watch some heads roll. In 1714, a Norwegian captain and an English captain had a 14 hour long ship fight. Afterwards, both ships were severely damaged and the Norwegian captain was running out of ammo. He sent an envoy to the English ship asking if they could borrow some of their ammo. They said no. <laughs> the best gorilla joke of 1897. Oh, yeah. Did you hear about the gorilla who escaped from the zoo? No, I did not. That is because I'm a quiet gorilla. <laughs> The people in 1897 were mentally in 2013. Oh, oh, we're saying this is, oh, so we're, we're not saying this is like old timey. This is like ahead of its time. It's just that it's completely leaped our generation. Yeah. Edgar Allan Poe living most of his life in poverty. Edgar Allan Poe weird, after though. publishing The Raven. Car, car, car. Nevermore. And then was like, I'm going to marry my 13 year old cousin. Medieval wine windows are reopening, reviving Italian plague tradition. Life finds a way. That is actually really cool. I I would be fine with that when I go get my, you know, at the drive through just some hand sticks out. I mean, I don't know how much this would have affected things with the plague because they had no idea what they were doing with the plague. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and we'll see y'all next time.